Are you trying to make money online with YouTube, but don't want to do all that stuff like work hard and create videos? You literally don't have to do anything. All you have to do is remake videos. Well, reality check, at least for me, is YouTube takes a ton of work. I don't go outside. And it doesn't start paying off very quickly. Let's jump into my stats and earnings for my first month and a bit more on YouTube. Now, when you get a thousand subscribers, YouTube sends you an email like this one here. It means your channel's growing and a bunch of people have their eyes on you. Here we go, we're on my dashboard for my YouTube channel. Let's head in to analytics. So my general stats are usually between four and 5K views in a 28 day period. That can jump up if I were to upload more videos. I just don't have the time at the moment. Um, so I usually stick to one or two videos a week. So I started earning my first YouTube money September 9th, over a month ago and I'm looking at the month of September. It does take a little bit to kind of kick in. You have to go through and make sure you can check all your videos off to be monetized. And you also have to link up your YouTube account with Google AdSense. Now, because I already do blogging and I've already made uh, money on Google AdSense through websites, I ran them for a few months before switching over to Zoic, which earns me more. I already had a Google AdSense account. They were depositing money into my bank account. So I think the process of me becoming monetized and receiving money was fairly quick because I already got my September payout of 40, how much did I make? $49.89. And you can see here, sometimes I have a sort of big days. This is probably when uh, a few days into releasing a video that's getting a bunch of views. And so in my first month, I was getting a few high days of just over $4. If we jump into October now, I've already made almost twice what I made in September, and that's because of a, a few other videos that got a bunch of views. And I think it's also um, ads are in full tilt. YouTube knows what they're doing when they're running ads on my videos. I don't know exactly how it works, but my RPM is almost $18, which is fairly high. So this is a good time for me to clarify that this RPM is actually exceptionally high. And if you're new, you know, you've, you have no idea about this space or you haven't even started a YouTube channel yet, the RPM is what's really important because it's the rate I make per thousand views, per thousand monetized views where ads are showing up. So for every thousand views, monetized views, I'm making roughly $17. <laughs> yeah, boy. I checked out a few videos just before making this video to see, you know, what some other content creators were sharing because it's a popular video to make. This is how much I make on YouTube. And I'll roll that clip in a second, but you'll see some channels get less than $3. I hate to say it to gamers out there. Gaming is probably the least profitable niche for ads. It balances out because that's where a lot of views are happening. I think there's over 200 million people on YouTube, specifically in sort of like the gaming niche. But my RPM is on the higher side of the spectrum. There's only a few other niches that would pay a lot more than that. And one of the reasons is because I talk primarily about making money online. People who are advertising to users who are interested in making money online are willing to spend more because those users are also willing to spend more. So let me roll this clip just to show you why my RPM is on the higher end and you may not want to expect my kind of earnings when you first get monetized. See the playback based CPM is 12.84. 2019 we earned $18,566.78. $208. Absolutely mind blowing. Here's June 14. So what did we learn from that other than I am that guy and I'm here to kill the game. The sort of average across the whole board of YouTube is going to be somewhere between like five and eight dollars from how I understand it. So I just really wanted to stress that anyone who's completely new to this channel or new to how YouTube ad revenue works. Now, one of the reasons why it is so high is my top earning video doesn't even have a thousand views. It's already made almost $17. And that's because the RPM is just over $30. At one point it was $35. For whatever reason, 
I guess it's because the guy I was sort of uh, making a funny video about, John Cristani, he uh, runs a lot of YouTube ads and I'm assuming he pays a lot for those ads and it's very likely that those kind of ads will show up on this video. One thing that sort of surprised me is right now skippable video ads auction, those are the ones that play either at the beginning or throughout a video, they make basically all of the money. A part of me is considering just getting rid of these. Why, why bother people even more? I mean, I'm not sure if they even see these, the display ads and bumper ads. I just click that Xbox um, on the ad every time it shows up on a video. So oh, the next few months, I'll see how this plays out and I might just kind of uncheck those altogether because what's the point? And here are my channel analytics for the whole time. I created this channel with no intention of actually doing YouTube. Um, I guess back in 2011, I, I don't even know why I created it. And uh, I didn't publish my first actual video until January 17th, 2019. And when I published my first video, I was not doing it consistently. It was usually like once a month. They are bad, the editing is bad, and it took a long time to sort of figure this stuff out. And so it took about a year and a half to get my channel monetized. It probably could have been a little bit quicker had I put out more videos. But having said that, yes. Yes. having said that, yes, let me say this. I don't think the quality of the videos I would have been putting out would have been very good either. So it would have just been a lot of quantity over quality. So it's hard to say if that would have actually helped in the long run. If you're trying to get monetized on YouTube, it is not easy. If I were to have kept track of all the work I've done, it is peanuts what I am making per hour. The point of this is building something up over the long term, and I'm having a lot more fun with my channel now. And YouTube for me is sort of like a creative outlet. It's sort of like, um, I don't know how to do art. I can't draw things, I, don't, I can't paint things. This is, when I think about it, this is sort of like the only like creative artistic thing in my life. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of putting something together out of nothing, putting it out on the internet, getting comments, people engaged with it, people laughing, people finding it useful. It's a lot of enjoyment for me and it's kind of more of a hobby. So I, I, I like gaming. I do a lot less gaming because I'm trying to build up a YouTube channel. That's the way I look at it. If you like these sort of videos of analytics, earnings, traffic, all that kind of stuff, check out this playlist here where I share those with my niche sites and my websites, blogs that I build up and check out this video. It's being recommended just for you. You literally don't have to do anything. All you have to do is remake videos.